So for our book today, we have Arthur's chicken pox. Let's see what's going to happen to Arthur. It was Monday morning, but Arthur's family was thinking about Saturday's trip to the circus. I wonder if the knife thrower will be back, said father. The trapeze artist is my favorite, said mother. I like the clowns best, said Arthur. I like the cotton candy, said D.W. Okay. Arthur thought about the circus in school, too. For his art project, he drew a picture of the circus. Then at lunch, Arthur noticed he didn't feel very well. He went to the nurse's office. You have a temperature, said the nurse. Then Arthur's dad arrived to take him home. I'm going to get better fast, said Arthur. I don't want to miss the circus. If you're sick, you got to make sure you get better first. Right, everyone? D.W. was surprised to see Arthur when she got home from playgroup. What's wrong with you? She asked. You don't look sick to me. But I feel sick, said Arthur. I think you're faking it said D.W. Does it look, Arthur look sick or not yet? Let's read and find out what happens. At dinner time, Arthur got to have chicken noodle soup on the sofa. Why do I have to eat at the table, asked D.W. Because you're not sick, said Mother. But I think he's just pretending, said D.W. Eat your spinach said father. Why is E.W. starting to look a little upset? Yeah, she thinks Arthur is pretending. She thinks Arthur is not really sick. Let's read, let's continue reading to see how sick Arthur really is. The next morning, Arthur was really sick. Arthur had Arthur has polka dots, said D.W., laughing. Too bad he'll miss the circus. I'll see if Grandma Thora can stop by later, said Mother. She knows all about the chicken pox. Oh, no. Does anyone notice all the spots on Arthur? Oh, no. The chicken pox can make you very itchy sometimes. But the main rule is, do not scratch that afternoon grandma thora arrived i brought you some treats to help you feel better she said after school arthur's friends stopped by with get well cards muffy brought arthur all his homework well isn't that nice father brought arthur some stickers and cherry cough drops can I have some cough drops too? asked D.W. You're not sick, said Arthur. Oh. Oh, that's nice, everyone. They're bringing Arthur some gifts. Grandma Thor brought him some presents. His friends made him a get well soon card. His teacher gave him some homework. And his dad brought him some medicine for him to feel better. I feel itchy said Arthur after dinner. Try not to scratch, said Grandma Thora. But I want to scratch, said Arthur. I'll make you something. Uh, I will make a special soothing bath, said Grandma Thora. That might help. Arthur was allowed to drink juice in the tub with the crazy straw. If you're a good little boy and don't scratch your spots, said D.W. I'll bring you home a balloon from the circus. Ooh, that is a crazy straw. That's cool. After his bath, Grandma Thora gave Arthur a back rub and told him a story. I think I'm ready for my hot tea now, said Arthur. Don't forget the extra honey, please. Ooh, tea with honey does sound nice. 
Can I have a back rub too? Asked D.W. Maybe later, said Grandma Thora. Right now I have to get Arthur's tea. Suddenly, D.W. got an idea. Oh. My friends, I'm noticing D.W. is looking a little sad. Maybe a little left out. Why do you think that is? Why does she feel this way? Yeah, I think it's because she wants some of the stuff that Arthur's been getting lately. Let's continue. Let's see what DW's idea is about. I see her doing some stuff. She went into the bathroom and closed the door. First, DW put baby powder on her face to look more pale. Then she looked through the marker box for a pink marker. And she gave herself spots. Lots of spots. Let's take a closer look at DW. Who is she trying to look like? Her brother, Arthur. DW made a loud moaning sound as she came down the stairs. Oh, I don't feel well, she said. Good heavens, said Grandma Thora. You have them too. Let me take your temperature. When no one was looking, DW held a thermometer under some hot water. Oh dear, said Grandma Thora when she read the thermometer. I feel itchy too. I think I need a soothing bath. Of course, said Grandma Thora. And how about some juice? Asked D.W. With the crazy straw? Of course, darling, said Grandma Thora. Do you think D.W. is really sick? No. Let's see what happens with D.W. Uh-oh. D.W. didn't notice that while she was in the tub, all her pink spots washed right off. But Grandma Dora noticed. Dora Winifred! She scolded. I am very disappointed in you. Does D.W. still look sick? No. <laughs> Well, how's our little patient? D.W. asked Arthur. Arthur's the next... Oh, I'm sorry. Asked Arthur the next afternoon. Still itchy, said Arthur. And still sick. That's too bad. She moved her telephone near Arthur. Excuse me, she said. I have to make an important call. Hello, Emily? I have an extra ticket for the circus on Saturday. Do you want to go with me? Great. Bye. And she hung up the phone. Mom! Moaned Arthur. D.W. is torturing me. Is D.W. being very nice with Arthur? Mm -mm. She's trying to give away Arthur's ticket. But let's see if Arthur will be better by the time it's Saturday with the circus. By Friday, uh, by Friday, Arthur was feeling well enough to go out for dinner with his family. I guess I'll be going to the circus after all, he said. Oh, that's just grand, said Grandma Thora. D.W., you better call Emily, said Mother. Maybe I should wait, said D.W. Who knows? Arthur might get the flu. Looks to me like Arthur's getting better. Let's see what happens next. But Arthur didn't get the flu. The next morning, he was up early and dressed for the circus. Everyone else was ready for the circus, too. Everyone except D.W. Hurry up, D.W., or we'll be late, called Mother. D.W. came down the stairs, singing. It's cotton candy. I love to eat. It's so squishy. It's so sweet. Oh. 
Looks like everyone's ready to circus. For the circus. Let's see what happens. Off to the circus. Mother just looked at D.W. Oh, boy, said Father. Good heavens, said Grandma Thoreau. Arthur just started laughing. What's so funny? Why do you think everyone is... Why do you think the adults are more nervous and Arthur's just laughing? What do we think is wrong with D.W.? Oh, no. Back to bed, young lady, said Mother. But what about the circus, cried D.W.? Don't worry. If you're a good little girl and don't scratch, I'll bring you home a balloon. Oh, my friends. Look at D.W. She got the chicken pox. Oh, she wanted the chicken pox and she got them. Everyone got what they wanted. Arthur's chicken box.